Well, I've always been a big fan of the Astros and used to go to Astrodome as a kid. My dad used to take us all the time. Always wanted to wear what the ball players wear, so as soon as I got old enough to get a job and purchase a hat, I got me an Astro hat, and that was 18 years ago. Orlando or does, I'm an Astros hat collector. I guess when I started, I probably had like 60 hats. And, and so back then, like I said, the availability was so small. So it was only like whatever the Astros wore, you can buy. So it was probably about eight or nine hats a year. How many hats do you have? That's a question that I've never answered myself because when you multiply it about an average dollar, it's a little bit way too much money spent. If you had to guess? Uh, I would say over 1,500. When we weren't winning, hats were so easy to come by. So I was like, you know what? I'll just go ahead and grab a hat. And then all of a sudden we started winning. So everybody wants to wear Astro gear. So I was like, you know what? There's more availability, so I buy more. And so now we're at the point where you can't even buy a hat because it sells out instantly. So these guys have common interests. We all have, we have a friendly competition. Everybody's trying to say who has the best hat, who has the most unique hat. We chat about it. We either do buy, trade, sales, and we just pretty much hang out and just talk about our common interests, which is are the Astros. The Space City Moonwalker. My biggest advice is to stick to the team that you love. A lot of these younger guys want to buy every hat they can, so there's not enough money to buy every hat. So stick with one team and get what you like. If another person doesn't like that, and, but you like it, get it. So don't follow the crowd. Do what you personally like. So pretty much stick with your team, be a diehard, and just collect what you like.